Good evening, folks. This is the weekly wake up call. We're going to talk a little bit about the orange jackaloon and his mission of mercy this week uh, to Ohio. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about water for a minute. He brought some Donald Trump special water, you know, the good stuff. That's what he called it. <laughs> good stuff. You know, so let me talk a little bit about water because I, I worked for a company that actually uh, made the microbiological filters that were used in the development of the Safe Drinking Water Act. And when bottled water got big in the United States, uh, they used those same filters to test bottled water sources as well. So bottled water in plastic uh, is not regulated, and Dave will talk about that more, uh, but there is a unofficial expiration date for that of about two years in plastic. And why is that? Because solvent, water is considered a solvent and it will eventually leach chemicals from the plastic containers uh, into the water that you will be drinking out of those containers. So, you know, I also had one salesman from Milliport tell me that bottled water was the biggest graft in America. So I, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but what I do know is that Donald Trump's water isn't necessarily the good stuff. So I'm going to turn this over to Dave right now. So here's what I'll say, and we'll talk about deregulation more. We're going to be talking about deregulation all tonight, but water, bottled water is a grift. And from, from the grifter king himself, it's the perfect grift for two reasons. Number one, everybody needs it to drink it, to wash their clothes and, and dishes, to wash themselves, and to water their plants and grow their food. That's number one. Number two, as Deb said, the FDA does not regulate it. Water by itself does not degrade or pollute itself or whatever. You do have to boil it if it's in, you know, in streams and stuff. But water itself isn't bad. It degrades over time. And it if it's open uh, bottles of water, bacteria can get in it. If it's stored improperly in uh, uh rooms that are more than uh, 70, 70 degrees, or if they're, you know, uh, subjected to sunlight, it can speed up the process. And Deb, as Deb said, bottling companies generally say about two years. Now, there is a claim out there that Donald Trump uh, provided the citizens of Ohio, the victims, of a derailment, which, by the way, could have been prevented, potentially, if Donald Trump himself hadn't rolled back uh, a safety regulation in regards to brakes, which I will talk about <laughs> later in the longer show. But, the, you know, you have this, this water that people claimed was from 2010. Trump has been selling water for a very long time. He, he uh, sold a product called Trump Ice that had his picture on it and all that. That was discontinued in 2010. And based on Reuters and a couple other articles that I saw, uh, it was rebranded as Trump Natural Spring Water in 2015 and is currently used in his uh, hospitality venues like his hotels and, you know, in different conventions and golf courses and all that stuff. Um, I saw nothing about having uh, dates on it. Uh, some companies do have dates on it to just stamp when it was, when it was produced. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have to have that. So we don't know if it was produced in 2015 or if it's, if it's, quote unquote, newer water, or if it was stored properly. But, but what I can say is that 
for him to roll out all of these cases of water, it's a perfect opportunity for a photo op. It's a perfect opportunity for um, slamming on the Democrats in response to the uh, to, to the derailment that he possibly was part of and caused. So, and it's a good way to get rid of his product that may be aging and may not have been stored properly. So we're not saying that Twitter is a cesspool of bad information. We're not saying that this water was Trump ice or 13 year old water. What we are saying is we don't know because it's not regulated, wasn't dated. We have no idea. Right. Okay. It's perfect for him. The only thing we do know is once again, Donald Trump has taken advantage of people who are in a painful situation in order to ingratiate himself with the voters. Look at, do you think that I believe that Donald Trump would have gone there under any other circumstance if he wasn't running for president in 2024? I, I say no, okay? I don't think he gives a fat rat's ass about anybody but himself. And, you know, it's evidenced by the way he left the venue yelling to everybody, have a good time. Get the, <laughs> what the fuck, okay? What I will, what I will say in closing, <laughs> you know? What I will say in closing is, to the to the citizens of Ohio, two things. Number one, you want to know, have a lab test the water. That's one way to do it. I'd love to see those videos where labs actually tested the water to see if it had any contaminants or whatever, number one. And number two, would you trust a man who rolled back dozens of, of environmental regulations, including regulations on water pollution. And that's what I got. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't trust him any with anything at any time. Anyway. Right. So, uh, I mean, we're talking about a guy who told 30,573 documented lies in a four year period. Right. So perfect you know, grift. Water is the perfect grift. He's an absolute grifter. He, he that's that's what he does. That's what he does with efficiency. Not much else, but that's what he does with efficiency. Anyway, thanks, guys. We'll see you.